Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am building a project called Unfold, a cinematic scroll journey. This section does not just scroll, it unfolds like a story. As I move down the page, words appear one by one, titles reveal themselves with bold color shifts, and then the entire screen slowly opens into a full screen video. I am not jumping between sections here. I am pinning the experience, controlling the scroll, and letting the content breathe at its own pace. In this project, I am combining GSAP, Scroll Trigger, Split Text, and Lenis to create a cinematic scroll journey. From subtle text motion to a dramatic circular video reveal. So if you have ever wanted your website to feel less like a page and more like a guided experience, this project is exactly what you are looking for. Now let me walk you through the HTML structure and how I import the scripts. I start with a scroll section at the top. This is just a full screen heading that sets the mood before the animation begins. After that, I create the benefits section. This is the heart of the entire experience. Inside it, I place a container to keep everything centered. Then I add a paragraph with the class para animation. This text will be split and animated word by word as I scroll. Below that, I create a group of titles using the class clip title. Each title also carries data background and data color attributes. I use these to dynamically change the background and text color during animation. Then I add a small closing line with the class more text. This finishes the storytelling part. Next comes the pinned video section. I wrap everything inside video wrapper and video box. This is where I create the circular video reveal effect. Inside video box, I place a spinning circle image, the actual video element, and a play button overlay. All of these layers are stacked to create a premium media block. After that, I add another scroll section at the bottom. This acts as the outro message after the full animation ends. Finally, I import all my scripts. First, I load GSAP, then scroll trigger and split text, then Lenis for smooth scrolling, and at the very end, I load my own script file where all the animation logic lives. Now let me explain how I style this whole experience in a simple and practical way. First, I import the Boldon's font so the headings feel strong and cinematic. Then I reset margins, paddings, and box sizing to keep the layout clean. On the body, I use a very dark background color and layer multiple subtle gradients on top of each other. This creates that soft grid texture you see behind everything, which makes the page feel premium instead of flat. Every scroll section is set to full screen height and centered using flex. This keeps the intro and outro sections clean and bold. The benefit section has large top padding and hidden overflow. This gives space for the animations and prevents anything from spilling outside the frame. Inside the container, I limit the width and center all content so it always looks balanced on large screens. The paragraph animation text is kept narrow and light. This makes the word-by-word -word animation easy to read. The title group is stacked vertically, and each clip title starts hidden using clip path. I also rotate each title slightly to make the layout feel organic instead of robotic. The video wrapper takes the full screen height, but the video box starts as a tiny circle using clip path. Later, I animate this circle to grow and reveal the entire video. On top of the video, I place a spinning circle graphic and a glass style play button. These layers give depth and make the section feel interactive. Finally, I adjust the sizes for mobile inside the media query, so the design stays usable and beautiful on small screens too. Now let me start wiring the scroll magic into the project. First, I wait for the page to fully load using document add event listener with DOM content loaded. This ensures every element is present before I try to animate anything. Inside that, I register scroll trigger and split text with GSAP. This step unlocks scroll-based control and text splitting, which are the core features behind this cinematic scroll experience. Now I am adding Lenny's to make the scrolling feel buttery smooth. First, I create a new Lenny's instance with smooth scrolling turned on. This instantly upgrades how the entire page feels when I move the mouse wheel. Then I tell Lenny's to update scroll trigger whenever a scroll happens. This keeps all my scroll animations perfectly in sync. After that, I connect Lenny's with the GSAP ticker. This means every animation frame is driven by GSAP's internal clock instead of the browser's default timing. Finally, I disable lag smoothing. This prevents jumpy motion when the tab loses focus, keeping the scroll experience smooth at all times. Now I am using JavaScript to style the titles dynamically. I select every element with the class clip title. Then for each one, I read the data background and data color values directly from the HTML. Finally, I apply those values as inline styles. This lets me control the look of every title from the markup itself without writing extra CSS. 
Now I am preparing the paragraph animation in the main reveal timeline. First, I split the paragraph with the class para animation into individual words using split text. This allows me to animate each word separately instead of the whole sentence at once. Then I create a GSAP timeline with scroll trigger attached. This timeline starts when the benefit section reaches 65% of the viewport and continues until it scrolls past the top. I also enable scrub. This means the animation progress is directly linked to the scroll position, so the words reveal smoothly as I scroll. Now I am building the actual storytelling sequence. First, I animate the paragraph words. Each word fades in, slightly rotates, and moves up from below. The stagger makes them appear one after another, like someone is gently revealing the sentence. After the paragraph finishes, I start revealing the titles one by one. Each clip title uses the same reveal animation, so they open smoothly instead of popping into view. This chain of animations turns a simple block of text into a guided scroll story. Now I handle the video reveal differently for desktop and mobile. First, I check if the screen is smaller than 768 pixels. This tells me whether I am on a mobile device. If I am on desktop, I create a new GSAP timeline for the video section. I pin the video wrapper to the screen, extend the scroll for a long distance, and connect everything with scrub. Then I animate the video box from a tiny circle to a full screen circle. This creates that dramatic reveal effect. If I am on mobile, I skip the heavy clip path animation. Instead, I only pin the section during scroll so the layout stays smooth and performance friendly on smaller devices. Now I define a small helper function called reveal. Instead of repeating the same animation values again and again, I return a ready-made object from this function. This object tells GSAP how every clip title should animate. I set the duration to one second, make the element fully visible, and change the clip path so the entire title is revealed. The circ out easing gives it a soft, natural finish. This way, whenever I call reveal, I get the exact same smooth animation without writing the same code multiple times. So now you have the full picture. I started with a clean HTML layout, then shaped the atmosphere using layered CSS styling. And finally, I connected everything using GSAP, scroll trigger, split text, and Lenace. You saw how I reveal text word by word, how I animate bold titles using clip path, and how I turn a tiny circle into a full screen video using scroll. This is not just animation. This is storytelling through motion. If this project helped you understand how modern websites guide users instead of overwhelming them, then it takes effort to make videos. And if you are liking my videos, press the like button and subscribe to the channel. It motivates me to make more videos. I will be sharing more cinematic scroll experiences very soon. So stay connected, keep building, and I will see you in the next video.